beautiful people. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing amazing. Welcome back to another Province House Rebuild update. I'm currently here in the house. It's super hot right now. I think it is currently 12 p.m., like exactly 12 p.m. I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of house, the uh, progress of the house. We'll start here. So um, again, this is uh, the extension of the living area that I have. You guys know that already. Anyway, one of the biggest progress that we have here in the house is actually the window. You guys can remember before, the window doesn't have uh, the same size of the rest of the windows, but actually they were able to fix it. So this is the final look of the window that we have here in the house. So as you guys can see, they've already uh, finished rendering. So this is how it's gonna look. Obviously, we'll have to paint it, do some skim coating and all that. So um, yeah, this is how it looks. It looks really clean now. I'm not really sure. I was not able to ask the main builder what's the size of the window. But again, this is how it looks, okay? Actually, it looks really nice from the outside if you see this side and the other side of the window as well. By the way, uh, if we look over here, uh, just beside the main door, you guys will see the main what do you call this though <laughs> main breaker yes the main breaker of the whole house so in case something happened whatsoever we need to turn it off um it's just a lot easier for us to access it um we can access it like you know from the main door again uh, same as from last time i have shared with you guys that we've already uh, started installing the wiring of the house as well um, here, the second bedroom, they have started doing the rendering of the wall. So uh, this is how it looks right now. So as you guys can see, they're almost done. I would say this is about 70-80% done for the rendering in this side. Actually, the main builder was telling me the only thing that's very meticulous when it comes to uh, rendering is the sides of the window the corners the pillars um, especially like this they really have to make sure that it's smooth and um, it will look good so anyway um, as you guys can see this window as well um, it's already done so that is really good on this side if you take a look um, this has been really finished from the bottom up to the ceiling so that's how it looks for now and if you uh, look over here we have one plug as you guys can see so that's good um, we're gonna have a double bed uh, in this side and then uh, maybe one to two cabinets and then the lamp will be here then yeah <laughs> i'm quite excited anyway so there's that for the uh, second bedroom so now this is my main bedroom i do have a lot of plans for my main bedroom guys so uh over here i think this is where we are going to put the bed so this is the headboard the bed will be like that and yeah we're gonna put a queen size bed and if you guys can take a look over here, we have here some plugs uh, because we're going to put like a side lamp or a night lamp over here. And then here on the other side as well, there's going to be a plug, a switch for our lamp. And then actually, since I do have my air condition from my last apartment, I am going to <laughs> put it here in my bedroom. I know a lot of you guys have suggested to put air condition here in my province house because it actually gets really hot, uh, especially during summer. Like right now, it's already summer. It's like 40 degrees. It's super hot. So yeah, my air condition is still up and running. I can still use it. Um, it's in my previous apartment. So we are going to put the air condition here on this side. If you can take a look above, there is a switch or a plug for the air condition. So that's good. And then... If you guys can take a look over here, this is where my computer study table area. So I also asked to put some switch over here, some plugs 
um, so that if I'll be editing videos, doing some emails whatsoever, um, I can work here in this little nook. Actually, before, um, it's where my study table as well. So it's good because I will have a window over here so I can like work and look at the outside. Now, I am thinking, since this is a, a good and big window, I'm thinking of putting the couch that I have um, if you guys can remember, I have a two-seater couch uh, from my previous, from the last time. So I'm thinking of putting it here. On this other side as well, I decided to put another plug so that, you know, if I'll sit down here and if I want to charge my phone or, uh, you know, um, watching something, then I could uh, charge my phone or anything. At the same time, this area is going to be where my wardrobe cabinet will be. So I'm still thinking if I should buy a cabinet for here. If you guys can remember, I was really sad because I think I really had to let go for some or most of my furniture because they all got wet, unfortunately, because of the typhoon. And we don't want to have molds because it's not really good for your body. It's really toxic, so it's not recommendable to use them anymore. And also, it doesn't really work. It's all destroyed and whatnot. So. I cannot really use that um, cabinet anymore so I am thinking if um, I should have a, a DIY like do-it-yourself uh, wood that will be put here or should I buy a new one so we shall see it depends on my budget because like right now I still have a lot of things to get for the house especially the ceiling um, the electric the electrical we're still uh, we're already working on it so that's okay but I think I need to get a new bed frame for my bedroom because if you guys can remember my bed frame is totally destroyed since uh, it got really rusty because there's a lot of water coming in my bedroom so yeah this is where my closet my cabinet will be so that's why I also asked to put a plug here so that in case I need to iron my clothes or you know do some steaming for my clothes so I can just use this one so yeah um, there is gonna be no plugs in this area because I'm thinking to just really put you know my cabinet here so yeah uh, that is it for now in my bedroom uh, I really like it because look I have a really nice view of um, the outside it's green I have really fresh air so if we open the window then we have um, some air coming inside and then if we look over here by the way i do have one two three four switches so uh originally the electrician actually have told me to have two switches here which is just going to be for the inside of the room um, but then i requested to add two more and these two other switches will be my control um, for the outside lights of the house and for the inside so um, I know that's quite complicated to do because uh, they need to like get, they need to like have this switch and I can, while I'm inside, I can turn on and off the lights from the outside while I'm here and um, in the living room as well uh, for security purposes. And yeah, it's just a, a lot easier as well. Like you're in the inside, especially um, if you want to turn off all the lights, like you can just turn it off here. I don't need to step out of my bedroom. And yeah, I think that's a good idea. He actually did mention that that's a good idea. It's part of their training. And he was like so shocked. I asked about it because it's quite complicated. There's a lot of wirings to do, but yeah, anyway, I'm happy he was able to do it. At least I'm at peace. This is my living area so i was really searching so hard what's going to be the best thing to do on how do i arrange everything here in my living since it's really big now because it extends all the way there so my kitchen is actually going to um, start from here uh, just right after where the window is and then all the way there and that's because um, I cannot really put my entertainment section here um, I don't know because it's too this is gonna be a hallway so this is where we pass if we want to go to the kitchen or whatnot and the electrician suggested that we'll just have to put a divider TV stand divider here in the middle in that way uh, we can put sofa there over there as well and everyone can watch the TV if we do karaoke and whatnot so this is going to be like a division but I will just really buy the divider or maybe I'll do a DIY for that we'll see if I can find one in the uh, store but that's my current plan 
because uh, before I said that we're gonna put the TV here, but actually it's not a very good idea since uh, the people over there, they cannot really see the TV and it is such a sore in the eye um, because I don't know, it's just not a good, um, it's not organized that way because it's too like small, like for the entertainment section to go here and the kitchen will be very cramped because yeah it's just not good so yeah i think uh it's a good idea to put a division here and everyone that will sit in the living area will face this way and that's where they can watch a tv movie whatever video okay and all so yeah if you guys have any better suggestions for that please comment it below i would love to know that thank you so much again i'm very open to any suggestions that you guys might have all right so here is my kitchen area so since my living will be now very wide uh we are going to have a wider kitchen as well and uh which is really good because the countertop of the kitchen will start from here i'm gonna put the refrigerator here and if you go look over there you can see the plug for the refrigerator so that's good so the countertop will start over here it's going to be a cornered one starts over there here and then it stops here so it's from window to window uh, I think it's better that way. It's a lot bigger and it really does uh, make the house more, I don't know, spacious. Um, the reason why I left this um, open, that's because I'll put the pantry here. We'll have a cabinet that can store sauce, uh, food, whatever. So that's where we store it. And then I'll have another of these cabinets for the countertop where we can put all the plates, uh, the pots, the pan whatsoever so yeah anyway we go here this is the um this is another hallway so before this is where i put my refrigerator right but um it's not good um it's better to put it there because it's just making this area cramped but if you guys can take a look i decided to have another plug over here and that's because if in any case uh, I need to wash my clothes so I can just put my uh, washing machine over here or inside the toilet as well at the same time I'm thinking of putting a what do you call that electric water what do you call that dispenser yes so water dispenser um, that will have hot and cold and if you plug it in and then you will have hot and cold water so yeah that's in my plan and then here again you guys know about this already this is the exit going to the terrace or the, or the balcony that we're going to be having in the million dollar view i want to show you guys something it's going to be here in my bathroom area so if you guys can see over here it's still the same size it's just that the only uh, thing that I'm going to change here is the toilet because it's totally destroyed. I think I need to really change that. We have two windows so that I don't need to buy ventilation whatsoever. Uh, so we'll just have to put the JLUC window that I had before. Um, so that's good. And then if you guys can take a look over here, I know this is very thick now, like this wall over here. And that's because we did not really uh, destroy the wall. We just really attached it to the other one at the outer part so that, you know, we can still make use of the tiles that I have and we don't need to really redo everything. So I'm quite okay with that. The only thing is if we uh, destroy this one, then the uh, toilet area will be much more wider. But I'm quite okay with this because, you know, we can put like soap over here and this becomes a shelf so far everything is looking good i would have to say that uh we are at 60 70 percent finish um uh, i'll just really need to order uh something for the window so again i've decided to let go of my jlc and uh, i'll just have a sliding window for everything I think it's better that way and I think the house will look a lot better if we're gonna use a sliding window so I do have one two three four five I do have six windows in total the one in the toilet I'll just have to use J Lucy for that it doesn't really matter the builder said it might
might cost me around 30,000 peso. I will have to save up for that um, so that the house will now look really legit. And uh, what else? So we've already started putting the wires. I will have to do some lighting shopping. We'll have to do furniture shopping because some of the cabinets, some of the stuff I will have to really let go. It's not good to use anymore. And um, yeah, so far right now they're working on the wiring at the same time, the rendering as well. So the rendering actually takes some time because um, especially the two bedrooms, it's really a lot because you have to, you know, render the outside and the inside as well. So it's quite double. So here in the living room area, in the kitchen, um, at the back of the house, I mean, in the front of the house, uh, the rendering has been finished, but at the back of the house where my bedroom is and where the million dollar view is, the rendering is not finished yet. So that's what uh, they are currently working on. And unfortunately for the month of April, we cannot transfer here or we cannot move in yet here in uh, the province house. Uh, that's because there's still really a lot of things to get, a lot of things to work on. But, you know, I'm so positive that uh, we will be able to finish this. My uncle um, arrived here from Cagayan. I think he's gonna try to work on my ceiling. At least someone's, uh, at least two people will do the rendering and then uh, two, three people will do the ceiling. So, uh, yeah, I just want to make sure that everything will be done already so that we can move in here. We're not going to rent anymore because it's quite pricey. At the same time, Tom and I really want to uh, go out of the country and try to do some traveling because um, everything is at ease now. It's more convenient to travel. And yeah, uh, <laughs> we want to just explore the world. But yeah, I want to do that once the house will be finished because I cannot like leave the house like this, you know. I just want to make sure that, you know, everything's good. When we come back here, we have a house to go back to. Anyway, I'm going to end the vlog here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are excited for the province house to be finished and are excited for us to finally move in here. I cannot wait for that to happen. And yeah, we're going to do another house blessing because I would have to say this is a totally, totally new house house uh it's totally different from how it was before but i'm quite happy right now it's strong it's sturdy we're using metals concrete so it's more legit and yeah all right thank you guys for watching and uh i will see you guys on the next one don't forget to smile and be happy bye